go through um, some of the things that are unique to Buddies. Um, so when you come at the four o'clock time, um, you'll be picking up your name tag over here as well, but you'll have a couple more things in your name tag. Um, you'll get your name tag, just like this. It'll say your name on the front. And then on the back, um, with the same size card, will be information about your guest. And the information about your guest will include their age, things that they like to do, any difficulty they may have with anything. Um, if your guest cannot eat, we've already made arrangements, um, or we don't, let me rephrase that. We don't have any guests that are not able to eat themselves. Does that make sense? Yes. So if they need pureed food or something, we have some of our group homes that they will be with those people and um, with their aides that are coming with them. Does that make sense? Okay. So they have all that information, including what they like to do, that type of thing. And um, also in your name tag, will be attached to your name tag, will be an allergy bracelet for your guest. So if your guest has some allergies, um, it'll be with your name tag, and it will be your responsibility to get that on their wrist when you first see them. And, but don't worry about that yet. We'll talk more about it. And actually, this is wrong. There's going to be one piece of paper with your name tag that is just going to have your guest's name. Okay, so there'll be quite a few things you're going to be getting, and then you'll have time. Um, you can, if you're a young man and you really need a Chick-fil-A sandwich to make it to the Chewies, um, you can do that. There'll be snacks in there for you, um, but you're going to be eating with the guests in the room, so you shouldn't need too much nutrition. If you could be here for the video at 4:45, that would be great. And then we are going to um, meet together outside. There will be a big white tent set up on this side of the building on the grass. And that is where all of our buddies are going to be hanging out. And in front of that is going to be our check-in tables. So if you remember, I told you you had a piece of paper with your guest name on it. Um, if you know how you stand when you're in an airport and you stand that piece of paper like that. So if you could kind of be doing that and listening for your guest name. Now, if you're talking, <laughs> being really super loud, you won't be able to hear it. So um, this will be the toughest part. Our check-in people are going to check the guest in and then there will be some runners behind the check-in people that are going to come back to get you. But they're not going to get you by your name. They're going to be using your guest name. Does that make sense? And they're going to have a little card. And they're going to give you the card and attach you to your buddy. Now, for the most part, the caregiver is caregivers, plural or one, will still be with the buddy. All this is, I'm sorry, with the guest. All this is happening before the red carpet, okay? So you're gonna meet the caregiver, you're gonna meet the guest, and you're gonna figure it out based on how backed up we are for the red carpet. You may go right away down the red carpet without having a lot of conversation, or you may have time if we're backed up to have some conversation with both the guest and the caregiver. Does that make sense? So the little, remember the little piece of paper that I told you the runner has? That card is what you're going to put down for Sean Kelly to announce your guest's name. And if yours is a different color, it is because your person, your guest, does not want a lot of noise. So we will have quiet paparazzi for guests that need that, and then we'll have loud paparazzi for guests that need that. And so if yours, if you wonder why yours is yellow, that is the reason why. 
um, is because your guest we're going to do a quiet paparazzi for them. Okay, we'll have some music playing, but it'll just be the paparazzi will be calmer on that one. And when they're walking down the red carpet, the red carpet is going to come straight into these middle doors. Um, you have a choice. Um, our athletes and cheerleaders and dazzlers walk a lot of our guests down the red carpet. As a buddy, you can follow behind them or you can walk with the caregiver on the side. Does that make sense? So it doesn't matter. Don't stress about it. Just do what feels natural to you at that moment. Um, if you feel like you're um, your guest is walking down fine, you can circle around or you can walk behind your guest. If we happen to run out of athletes and cheerleaders and dazzlers at that moment, you walk your guest down the red carpet. Does that make sense? So we're just going to kind of have to see how it goes out there because there's a lot of moving parts, obviously. And so Sean Kelly will do, be doing your announcing, so wait for them to announce your guests. That's the most important thing before coming down the red carpet. Any questions up to that point? Okay. So when you come into the lobby, you're going to enter into a secondary little queue area. And um, in the first thing you'll come to is code check. So if your guest has a code or you have a code, if it's 30 degrees out, all of you will have codes, right? Um, there'll be somebody there who can take all of your codes for you. Then the second thing you're going to come to is your corsage or your boutonniere station. And so you're going to be putting a corsage or a boutonniere um, on your guest. And I know the boutonniere scares some people, but that's kind of nervous. So we'll have some people who are helping hand out the boutonnieres. We'll help you, especially you guys. You've probably not pinned very many boutonnieres on people before. So we'll have some people there helping you with that. And the most important thing you're working your way to is a photo wall. So we'll have a photo wall where that coffee area is. And um, it'll be a big step and repeat thing with balloons. And that's where Alberta, Alberta will be. And um, our goal is to get those pictures printed and into their bags before they leave that day. So. Um, the reason you have that extra sheet of paper is for the very first picture that the photographer is going to take, the guest needs to be holding that piece of paper. Then take a second picture without the name tag. That way um, it will be easy for them to identify who's who. Now here's all the different scenarios. Again, do not stress about this. What if your guest wants you in the picture? Be in the picture. That's what most of them are probably going to want. Some of the caregivers are going to want to be in the picture, and then some of them aren't. Just be easy with that. Just do whatever the guest, and whatever feels right to you at that moment, that's what you should do. And we'll have a photography team, so don't overthink. You know, the sign, the no sign. We'll have people there who will be helping with that again. And um, we have some guests that are coming together as boyfriend, girlfriend. So they will want to have that picture taken together. Um, so be, just be prepared that they may be some guests who want to have their picture taken together. Okay? Once you finish the photo wall, you're free. You can do whatever you want to. Any questions up to that point? I'm going to go on to other things. Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, so a couple things you want to find out, and you'll see this when you read your information. This is a good time to interact with the caregiver. Um, and one of the things you want to ask the caregiver is, do you want me to send you updates during the during the night? Do you want me to send you pictures on? That tag, remember the card I told you that you're going to have, is going to have the caregiver's name and cell phone number. So if they want to be sent pictures or updates, 
you could put that, you know, plug that into your phone. Um, you probably could already have it plugged in because you had that information since four, and then you can send them updates as the night goes on. Um, also, keeping guests interactive, we're hoping you're not going to be there long. We hope it's going to all move really smoothly. But we have some therapy dogs that are going to be here. Um, there will also be Batman and Robin and four or five princesses that will be kind of interacting with the guests during that time as well. Um, so that's another thing that will keep them um, busy. And another thing you can do is just talk to them about what are you most excited about doing tonight. And if they're most excited about getting their hair done, then maybe you should go to the salon first. Ask them what do they want to do. If they're really excited about karaoke, go straight to karaoke. Because what will help us is if spread people out. I will warn you, we do not, we will not have 420 seats in this room. So we cannot all eat at one time. There is a chance you're going to come to the door and they're going to say, we are full. Can you come back in 15, 20 minutes? Um, because we'll have a team in here busing those tables um, so that you can sit down. We don't want to limit how many guests we can have by how many we can sit down here. Does that make sense? Because we have to have room for the dance floor, that type of thing. Yes, Betty. Um, if there's couples, the guests that are couples, will they be together or sort of together? Yeah, they probably will want to hang out most of the night, and so if will you, they tell you, say, I'm, I'm working Yeah, they probably will, and they'll probably arrive together as well. And uh, so just kind of play that by ear. You'll probably, whoever their buddy is, you'll probably be hanging out with that person the whole night. So, um, so if, it, if it does get crowded, we just need to kind of be that crew director and let's refocus some fun other things. Absolutely. If you walk up to the limo ride and it's really backed up, um, say, hey, let's go try karaoke. The, the real advantage with karaoke is it's more fun if they have an audience. And so karaoke is kind of a good place to go hang out some. Um, and then, of course, in here, too. But um, just be mindful. If you're that very first group that comes in and eats, and I will tell you that, that our largest group is going to come in and eat first to release those tables for later. Um, so just be mindful to not sit in one place the entire night. We do want you to move around. The limo is we have one kind of normal size limo, but then we have a 24-seater party bus. Um, that we're going to load them up and then take them for a drive just around the parking lot and stuff that will be super fun. And you'll want to stay with your guests. So if they're getting on the limo, guess what? You get on the limo and you kind of stay with your guests wherever. And, and that's such a great point that um, one of the things that you'll read about here, especially when you're first meeting them, don't ask the caregiver questions about the guest. Ask the guest the questions, acknowledging them as most important. And, um, but if you're going to get your hair done or whatever, and you notice that your guest doesn't want to get up from the hair chair, help the salon volunteers out a little bit by refocusing that by, hey, let's go do karaoke or let's go do a picture or whatever. And again, once we get everybody run through the pictures over here, you can take pictures at both places, over here or over here. And we'll have top hats and fun things to do there. Um, when you're getting your food, one thing I would suggest you doing is asking your guests. It'll be a buffet. Um, where's that map? It'll be a buffet. Um, there is only one <laughs> cookie per person, um, and um, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but they're the big 
decorated really pretty sugar cookies. Um, so um, we'll have one cookie per person, but then we also have the BZ Gelati. So that's actually a whole activity is going out and getting the BZ Gelati because it'll be a food truck just right out this door right here. And then the buffet is here and here. Um, ask your guest, you know, do, do you want to carry your plate or do you want me to carry your plate? You know, just ask them. And then there'll be servers that will be asking your guests what they want to eat. And we'll have one place right over here that will have drink station, but it is just bottled water in this building. That's not our rule. We just do that for the dietary needs of some of our guests. And um, if you are getting a headache and you need some caffeine or, or whatever, um, back in our um, hospitality area for our volunteers will be some coffee, um, Diet Coke, regular Coke for you all, but we're gonna do just water in here. Now, don't go get a Coke and drink it in front of your guest. Um, you'll want to like find somebody to be like, hey, I'm just gonna go real fast and can you help watch my buddy, watch my guest for me type of thing. But most of you can make it for two hours without those things. Um, so during that time, just use your time um, wisely. Um, just kind of play it by ear. At 8.45, um, when that video comes on, in a perfect world, everybody's going to already, the, the buddy, is already going to have a crown or a tiara in their hand. And you're going to be somewhere in this room. You could be sitting. You could be standing on the dance floor, but you're going to already have your crown and tiara. And those tables are going to be right up here, right in front of the stage, the crown and the tiara tables. And you're already going to have that in your hand because at 845, we're going to play a video um, with Tim Tebow and Demi is going to be on it. And in that video, he says, now we're going to crown you king and queen of the prom. And you as the buddy get to put the crown on their head. Super sweet. Now, some of you don't dance. You hate dancing. That is no problem at all. You will notice, and if you want to see this, go to our homepage at NTS Gator Nation. You can see 2020's prom. And you'll notice, like you notice in most weddings, there's kind of a circle of non-dancers around the dance floor watching the dancers. So your guests may not want to dance, um, no problem. You may have one of those that wants to dance the entire two hours. You do not have to dance that entire time. Just stay with your guests during that time and do check in with them and say, are you sure you don't want to go do karaoke? You can dance in there. Um, so we'll have two people on the platform. Um, we're super excited. Genius Entertainment is going to be our DJ um, and do our karaoke for us. They're incredible. So we're super excited about that. And then Jeremy Large, who's on our staff, he's our college pastor, is going to kind of be the master of ceremonies up here kind of also helping with, hey, why don't y'all go do karaoke, or hey, go do limo rides, trying to kind of mix it up and get people moving through the building. Um, so there'll be two people up here, <clears throat> and then we have a huge food team um, with that. Any, let's see, any other? So let's talk about checkout. You will know whether you have somebody that's in a group or not. Remember that little tag that's in there? It will say whether you have somebody who's in a group home. At the end, if you have somebody that's in a group home, you're going to go out this door because all their stuff is out there. But if you have just an individual, you're going to be going out this door. Now, it is going to be crazy because we're going to have all the caregivers have come over and you need to stay with your buddy till you hand them off to their caregiver. 
And what that means is you may have to, so we don't clog up the lobby, because that's where we're going to be giving the gifts. You may have to just go out the first 30 or 40 feet where that red carpet was and hang out there to meet their caregiver. Does that make sense? But if you stand right at the doors, then nobody else will be able to leave. And as they leave, they'll be getting a bag by their last name. And everything will be in that bag. Their t-shirt, their take-home gift. They all get a sign that they can put in their yard. Um, they all get a t-shirt. They all get a little gift bag. And that picture that we took earlier will all be in that bag. So that is alphabetical. So if the caregiver hasn't caught up to you yet, help them get the bag and then wait right outside the door. And um, grab their name tag, by the way. We're going to try to save as many of those name tags as we can. We'd love to get yours back from you as well. So there'll be big tubs out there in the lobby for you to throw all the name tags in. Don't worry about separating them. Just throw them in that tub. Any questions? Yes. That's correct. That's correct. So on your sheet, um, you will not be with anyone who cannot use the restroom on their own or do not have some kind of brief on. So it, if that is the case, they're going to be with an aid or I've placed them with somebody who has said, I can take a high-end special need person. Does that make sense? So again, the same thing with the eating. Um, you won't be with somebody that that would be too difficult for. We'll have restrooms here. There's two restrooms here. And then there'll be two restrooms here um, for you to use. And again, anybody who it would be awkward with. So um, if you're a female, it's super easy. You can go in the bathroom with them. They have their own stall. If you're a guy, I don't know, y'all figure it out. I don't know what you want to do. <laughs> um, I don't understand not having stalls, to be honest with you. So you can just wait outside the bathroom Yes, door. and you could wait outside the bathroom door as well. Yeah, I think everyone should have stalls. Correct. And that is why we have put, um, for the most part, females with female buddies and male with male buddies. Um, now, we, again, we have a lot of incredible U.S. students who are already doing occupational therapy or already part of programs where um, they interact with some of these guests. And so um, some of them will have an opposite sex guest if that makes sense but yes i um that's why we were careful who we gave those to so particularly you didn't get in a compromised situation yourself but yes i would just kind of use your own judgment on you know if it's getting carried out of hand or yeah and our dj um will also be playing music that will be kind of friendly for that that it won't be too Remembering not being filmed. <laughs> what can I say? Yes. Okay. So if a guest leaves early, this is a great question. Um, you'll get their bag. Those bags will be set up as soon as we get done with the check-in, and we'll be working on the pictures to get in them. But um, if your guest leaves early, that is fine. Just make sure, of course, you're depositing them with their caregiver. Um, and then um, you can put your name tag in there and decide what you want to do. If you want to leave, you can leave as a volunteer, or you can um, 
stay and be part of that 845 time? Does that answer your question? I'm sorry. Just come up here and grab one early and just put it in that bag. It's a pretty big paper sack that you can put it in there. Or even take a moment and crown them out there and say, may I put the crown on you now since you're leaving early. And um, over here for guest assistance, um, if your guest wants to get a hold of their caregiver for some reason, you have a couple choices. If you have their cell phone number, you could, you know, call them and, and do it that way. Or you could go to guest assistance um, and do it that way. Um, a couple different ways. And if, if you ask them, you know, do you want to just go hang out somewhere quiet? The lobby should be pretty quiet over there where the couches are, or you can go into that chill zone area. We have a church from, I think, Keystone that comes in and makes that sensory room for us. So those are your choices. Um, but please do not walk across the parking lot to go find the person's caregiver. It's just way too dangerous out there with cars and um, God forbid they wanted to run or something. So we want to keep everybody here. We'll call the caregivers and have them come over. Just a yes. quick follow-up question. If the, if the guest does leave early, is there anybody that we can see to see if they need us anywhere else? Or? Yeah, I would just ask around. Um, we're going to have quite a few volunteers that once they get done with check-in, they'll kind of be floating around as well. Um, so yeah, just kind of check out and see. Um, like I said, I, I would like nine, and help us as buddies doing this, that if there's only six people left in the room, you and a couple other guests, go ahead and head on out for us at nine o'clock so we can break down this um, room. And um, so if you're having a conversation or whatever, just maybe go and take the conversation out there. Um, that would be helpful for us. Just encourage them to say, hey, let's get your bag and get ready to go. Because some of them are probably not gonna want to leave. This is, they start emailing us and contacting us about this event in June and July. They are so excited about coming. I get, daily emails from maybe four or five guests asking me who their buddy is and can they really come? Are they confirmed? <laughs> and yes, you are confirmed. And um, so um, that's why we're, we're trying the seating thing because we want to fit as many people as we can. We don't want to put people on a wait list and we have, we have, we don't have anybody on a wait list. Anybody who wants to come is coming. Now, there is a chance that at the last minute, you're going to end up sick. And there's a chance at the last minute that your guest is going to end up sick and not come. And that is going to be a bummer on both sides. Um, you'll be super sad that you missed it. Um, and you'll also be super sad, you've gotten all psyched up, that your guest doesn't come. So please know that's just how the world happens and there's nothing we can do about that. Um, we'll have a few backup buddies. Um, we have, praise Jesus, more female buddies than we need and we're just finishing up some of our male buddies. So um, we'll have some extra buddies that can step in for you if you pop up sick. And then, of course, if your guest doesn't show up, um, you'll just have to hang out and have a great time that night. Find somewhere else to serve. Sarah, will we learn just that night of who our first about On the, them? Thank you. Um, about them, yes. On the back of this door right here is who your person is. And um, when you, one of the things you can be asking them is, a lot of times you go relationships with your person and then you'll be their buddy for the next five or six years. Some of you are already doing that. 
So we love for that to happen. So if you feel comfortable, you can give them your contact information. A difference than years past is Tim Tebow Foundation is asking us not to release the guest information before the prom. Used to be you gave their telephone number and address and everything to the, to the buddies. Um, now they prefer it to be wait till you know that they want to have interaction with you after the prom. But I would say 90% of them will. Um, so you can friend each other on Facebook. A lot of them are on social media. So if you, um, you could look at our social media on Facebook and if your guest is active, they're probably gonna be on that. You could even befriend them on Facebook. That's totally fine. We're just not gonna give you a telephone number ahead of time. And I know that's a change from years past, and I'm so sorry, it's not my decision. It is Tim Tebow Foundation's new policy for just the protection of our guests. It used to be in years past that as a buddy, you would call and talk to your guest. And so I know that's hard to give that up when you've been used to doing it that way, but the world gets crazier and crazier, so. All right, I think that's it. Um, if you could just look over this packet, I put some other things in the packet um, that you may find helpful. Um, but I think I've given you everything um, verbal. Um, there is something like you were talking, it says, you know, do not, if you are male with female, don't let them see you as a boyfriend, girlfriend, because that can really lead to um, heartbreak. And um, some of you, I don't know all of the guests, so some of you are more subdued and you may get somebody super energetic. And then some of you are super energetic and you may get someone very subdued. And so just match the energy the best that you can to your guest. Um, I don't know all these people. I don't know all of you. So I cannot match you by personality. It really was just um, such a random placement. And but we're going to consider it a divine appointment for you for that night. Anything else? Yes, Betty. The groups, are they usually coming from like a group home or something? Yes, we have a huge group from Takachelli coming. Some of them. Keystone, I think you're still in the room, but they're, um, it's through their public school. So we have a big Keystone group coming, but yes, um, some groups out of Lake City. And so we're really hoping we're gonna birth another night to shine up in that Lake City area, get a church excited about doing it up there or an organization or a partnership of all of that, um, because we are getting to the point where it's gonna be hard to accommodate more guests than some of these are local students from like city Lanier. Yes. Other local school here. Absolutely. Yep. Oh, and so you know, um, our age is 14 up. So some of you are going to have 60 year olds, and some of you are going to have 16 year olds. So it's going to be all across the. And again, I didn't, I could not do a whole lot of trying to age match either. Um, it really is, it, it's like a Rubik's Cube, honestly, because um, I have guests that are asking for buddies that they've had in prior years. I have buddies asking for guests, but it, it doesn't necessarily mean that the guest or the buddy has signed up. So if you don't sign up, I can't assign them. And so it's been, um, it's a Rubik's Cube. And so some people ask for the same guest. I've had one guest that's so popular, three people have asked to be her buddy. Um, so <laughs> it is a, it's a Rubik's Cube. So but I, that is the divine appointment, I hope, out there. But if you, if, if I have promised you that you're going to be with somebody or something like that and it's wrong, just send me an email and I'll do my best to maneuver it. Okay? I want everybody as happy as we can be that night. All right, guys, I appreciate you all so 
much. Your willingness to pay the background check, your willingness to give up your time both on a Saturday and on that Friday night is just tremendous. Just know you are being prayed for. Um, I'm picking about seven buddies every day to be praying for, for just your time with your guests when they come. And so just know that you are loved and appreciated. All right? Head up. Oh, there's a couple little projects if you're interested.